minnows back to another symptoms actually we're going to do two again um we're going to do uh muscle pain and joint pain okay joint pain i suffered really badly in my first couple of years um as we know i'm five years in and i'm through it mm, can't believe i am um but joint pain i really didn't even want to talk about it because I'd get out of bed to walk to the toilet and oh my god my ankles and everything just hurt I felt like I was a 90 year old woman so in my head I started to get paranoid I was thinking I was getting osteoporosis I had rheumatoid right rheumatoid um not rheumatoid I was saying arthritis I'd just be feeling like you know and then also what I found is my even my whole body ached when I lay down. I really think, oh, I just really need to lie down. I feel achy. I'd lie in bed and I'd wake up in the middle of the night and I'd just be like this and I'd move and I just would just be aching all the time. So for me, my aches and pains, um, I took CBD oil. Um, and of course, I've got the M Blend, which is available on Meg's Menopause. Um, I'm not trying to plug it, I'm just wanting to help you women out there with it because that took all my aches and pains away. So for me, it was a couple of drops of oil in the morning and at night and it went. Muscles um, generally like the aches and pains. They just come and they go and they come from nowhere. Another thing that is really rife in, in, in the menopause is a frozen shoulder. Why does a frozen shoulder come? I go and speak to Hazel at the Bell Size um, Osteopathy Clinic and she looks after me and I was chatting with her about this going, I do not have as much movement. So like when I'm putting on my sports bra, they're so uncomfortable to put on anyway, you're going like this, I have no, I do not have the movement in this shoulder that I used to have for no apparent reason. It just doesn't have the movement. And then when I was telling her about it, I was like, can we, what's going on here? What have I done? I've not done any sport. You know, why is this, why is this happening to me? She said, it is just one of those things. It's another symptom that women in the menopause get frozen shoulders. So with that, I'd say with the muscle pain, it's the same thing. For no apparent reason, of course, it's going to be probably lack of estrogen. Also, we're not really probably using as muscles as we should do. I know that I'm all a bit like, uh, 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 feeling old with the bones, you know, with your back. I know that bending over, I know that with, um, as we might have seen, I came off an electric um, scooter the other day. It was on my stories. They are really, really, really scary. I mean, I thought they looked quite easy and I was starting to show off and I hit the accelerator and then I decided that I, and I jumped off and um, I had cowboy boots on with these Cuban heels and I slid. And as I, as we all know, I've got osteoporosis. So I was just thinking, oh, for fact, please don't let me fall on my hip because it has like a 30% chance of breaking. And that really did come into me. And now I have, um, I've not pulled a tendon or a ligament, but this, this knee is, um, you can't see because the cuts are all gone, but the ligament and the muscle or whatever is just really like, every time I go, I'm like, ah, like an old woman. But I'm getting there and I'm getting through it. So I'm just saying, so when it comes to joint pain, I would take that. Also, um, at this time in our lives, vitamin D is very important. Being in England, as you can see, we don't get that much sun. So if you can try and be outside for 20 minutes or more in the sunlight, daylight, is really good for us. And then when you add up and you start to think you just jump on the bus or in the tube or you're in the house or you're in the car, we're not out for that long for 20 minutes. So it is important to take a supplement D, of course, in Meno Blend, I have D. So as you know, Menoblend covers everything as well as superfoods. So it's really good to take because I have vitamin D in it. So just be careful about your vitamin D. Make sure that you are getting vitamin D. Then in the evening, my all-time favorite thing is Postman, no. My all-time favorite thing is having a bath with Epsom salts. Epsom salts 
or magnesium salts, whatever you want to call them. Um, I just get the good old Epsom salts and put them in the bath. It will help with your muscles, it will help with your sleep, and it will help with your joints. So with all those little, little pointers I'm giving you, if you do that, also a hot bath at night, as we know with um, having, sleeping with the menopause, us women, it's shit, isn't it? You can't really, really wake up all the time. And there you go. That's me with my gruff voice again, because I didn't get enough sleep last night. I just couldn't get to sleep. I don't know why. I thought maybe it was full moon, but I don't think it is. So anyway, guys, there's your tips for those. Joints, aches and pains, anything, Epsom salt, vitamin D, and exercise, walk, get out in the sun today. Alright guys, see you soon. Bye.